welcome to cooking with me. Um, today I'll be making chicken salad. I'm making chicken salad today. Problem is I don't cook with measurements and all that stuff, so let's do it. You can use this chicken breast. Uh, this is the best way to go because it's as fresh as you're going to get with the chicken salad unless you kill the chicken yourself. Nasty. But uh, yeah, you can use chicken breast. Unfortunately, today we're using canned chicken. Um, it's not as good. Believe me, the way this is going to turn out, it's going to be amazing. So use the canned chicken and I like to use this one. I'm sorry, did I cover the name? We're not endorsing, we're just cooking or making whatever. It's not as complicated as someone may think. There are a few ingredients and if you have all of them then it turns out awesome. And there they are, so let's go take a look. First, you have cayenne pepper as well as Spanish paprika. There's also Hungarian paprika but it's of a brown color and I like the color of the Spanish paprika. It's of a red tint, gives it a nice flavor and color. As well as extra virgin olive oil and mustard. It doesn't matter what kind of mustard. Um, the mustard will influence the taste a little bit. So add a little. Doesn't matter if it's spicy, honey, whatever the case. Alright, so red onion and green pepper. And in addition to the cucumber, sorry about the freakishly shaped cucumber. I was a little worried about buying that one. So there's the can of chicken as well as you have sweet relish very important the dill relish is very sour and can just destroy the whole thing um, some people like it I don't and then you have celery seed as well as a little all seasoning salt oops manwich is not included manwich is not included believe me um, and then you have basil just a little of that pepper and marinades okay so I already went medieval with the knife and I chopped up the red onion as well as the cucumber and green pepper. I went crazy. I mean look at that. That is awesome. And that's all you have to do. Finally chop your, your veggies. This is, this is chopping but without a knife. If you can do this with your hand, send me a YouTube video doing it because that would be awesome. Alright, we're moving on. Here's the very important part of chicken salad, the bowl. It's very important. You put everything in the bowl. Genius. Who would have thought? Okay, so let's move on. Here we go. Chicken a la can. So now what you would like to do is pour this into your sink. There's, there's like either water or grease. I don't know what kind of grease is in it. I don't want to know. Yeah, you know, I don't want to know. So now you just pour it into your sink. There we go. And you don't want to pour this on your carpet or your wood floors. Because that would be stupid. Great. Now comes the very easy part. You're mixing everything into the bowl. You know, that container. I'll show you guys. Alright, and um easy it's all downhill from here there's the chicken there's all the finely chopped vegetables that I went nuts on they were screaming they're like no don't cut me don't cut me all right but seriously um, all the veggies are in there now and now comes the fun part isn't this fun this is great so now what you want to do is to add your ingredients you know I'll start with adding the cayenne pepper. You don't want to put no more than a pinch because this stuff is spicy. Very, very spicy. And if you're young, you may regret the rest of your life for a long time. If you're older, then eh, you add as much as you want, you're gonna die. I'm joking. I'm going to add just a pinch of cayenne pepper. This is this is a pinch. I don't know if you can see that. That's a pinch. And that's the most you want to put in here. Seriously serious it stuff is very hot 
and here's my Spanish paprika. You can put a decent amount of this into your salad because it doesn't have a spice factor. It's just colorful and awesome. Tastes great. There we go. All right, let's move on to some other spices. I'm now adding some all seasoning salt, but just a little because um, it can be overpowering if you put too much. I put just a sprinkle. There we go. That's it. No more than that. It's over. Finito. I'll stop there. So, let's see. What is this? Basil. You want to put just a little of this too. Not crowding out your salad with the basil. There we go. Yeah. Done. Okay. No more basil. Celery seed. Hold on. I want you to hit a pop of this cap. Oh, too cool. All right. You want to put a, you know, pretty good amount to spread that evenly over it. Actually, you know, it doesn't matter if you spread it evenly. It's all going to be mixed and, and danced together anyway. So there we go. Celery seed is over. Um, I told someone how to make it or I wrote it down. By the way, I don't measure anything, so I tried to bond and it was like, you know, I hope you get this right. Um, and this is kind of the reason why I'm doing this. But their, their salad was horrible. Garbage. I think the dogs loved it. Anyway, I'll show you how much I put in just because that's the best I can do. Let's start with the olive oil. Extra virgin olive oil. Oops, I'm advertising. Oh, ooh, that's free. You better pay me for that you guys anyway all right so I'm adding a little olive oil not much that's it see so mustard it's um, not much because this is not really the base it's just a, a nice flavor it gives to your salad and you zoom in on this so you can see how much I put in See, there we go. And I'll stop there. That's it. See, not much of that. Case closed. Sweet relish. This is, um, you can add this according to taste, but, okay, this is the amount I usually put in here. See that big glob? I'll stop right there because that is just an excellent flavor. You know, it brings everything together with a little sweet and sour. This is a serious part of the salad. Too much of that, and it's over. See this? That's not, it's not so much, is it? It looks like a lot. Right there, as you see it, that is amazing. Believe me, the spoon just told me. Isn't that pretty? Okay, what I like to do now is to put a cap on it. Yeah, just like this. Perfect. Because what I need to do is to put that on ice, or as they say in the big city, put it in the fridge. Voila! Chicken salad. All right, see, that's it. It's really easy, right? Wasn't that easy? Oh, it's so easy. No more than 30 minutes. It took much longer this time because, you know, I'm trying to show you guys how to do it. I should stop dancing, right? Yeah, I, I will. Okay. Um, now, for all you people who are telling me to make chicken salad for you, because there are a lot of you, you know who you are. Leave me alone because you know how to make your own chicken salad now. So, I hope you enjoyed cooking or making with me um, and happy making yourself chicken salad. This is awesome. You can also add grapes, you can add olives, you can add celery. Um, go crazy. Do what you like. Um, what is it, T.I.? He's saying you can do whatever you like. Okay, I should stop. Mm -hmm.